Hello, Black Healing Matters family. This is Danielle here at the Black Healing Matters podcast, where we offer you ideas to hopefully move you one step closer to your healing. And I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. And as you know, every Wednesday here on this podcast is Welcome Wellness Wednesday. (sighs) Well, first off, we can take a nice deep breath because we made it halfway through the week. And second off, where we talk about something that will hopefully usher in an extra deep level of wellness into our lives. And today, on this this episode, I want to talk about something that is, uh, I believe, truly, uh, it truly grips many of us, and we may not even realize it. Um, addiction is often a bad word that comes about usually with the connotation of things like drugs or alcohol or, you know, even other illegal substances. But it's not often that we talk about addiction in relation to food. And if you recall last week's episode, Welcome Wellness Wednesday, we discussed some of the very, very serious debilitating complications that we as black people are suffering from disproportionately in relation to one single disease, which was diabetes. And that's just one disease. We are being disproportionately affected by the sad, sad standard American diet and all that comes along with it. Obviously, looking at the data, it's not hard to see that the food and the lifestyle is taking a greater toll on us than any others. And so I think, you know, nowadays sugar, S-U-G-A-R, sugar, sugar is kind of a buzzword, you know. Um, There's a lot of talk about how bad sugar is, how bad it is, don't eat it, stop eating it, you know, uh, eat less sugar, don't eat sugar, blah, 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 of course. Now, nobody he <laughs> would disagree with that. Uh, I think that's a pretty obvious, <laughs> that's pretty obvious, you know, advice. It's like telling people to save money, um, to exercise. The question, though, becomes not what is good practice, but why don't we do it? What is the difficulty? What is standing in the way between us actually knowing this knowledge and then acting on it? And I believe that nasty word addiction is really what's at play. And I know um, just, just from my own experience that food addiction, sugar addiction has been a real issue for me in my weight loss and has caused me all kinds of health issues and wasted lots of time, money, energy, and of course, feeling really terribly um, because you just feel out of control. And so today we're going to talk about eight common symptoms of food addiction. And for me, like I said, sugar is the culprit. But for you, it may be something else. But food addiction is very serious and it is rampant. And I believe this is this is a serious issue, particularly in our communities. And I and there's a, there's a lot more to science behind this, but which I'll go into later on another episode. But for today, I'd really like you to understand um, what are some of these eight, again, common symptoms of food addiction and simply to identify them and to see if this, you know, if you this may resonate with you. See if you, um, you know, this checks some of your boxes. If so, then it's time to at least be aware that this is an addiction. This is not something that you can just use your willpower over because addiction, uh, just like any other addiction, a heroin addiction or um, any other kind of addiction, alcohol addiction, 
really in most cases requires professional help and warrants professional help. So number one, first common symptom of food addiction is you frequently get cravings for certain foods despite feeling full and having just finished a nutritious meal. Hmm. So is that you? Yes or no? Number two, when you give in and start eating a food that you were craving, you often find yourself eating much more than you intended to. Mmm... Yes. Have you ever done that? Where you say, oh, I'm just going to have one cookie or one pretzel. And then you look up and the whole bag is gone or half the bag is gone. Hmm. Yeah. Number three, when you eat a food you are craving, you sometimes eat it to the point of feeling excessively stuffed to where you feel uncomfortable. Hmm. Number four, you often feel guilty about eating, I'm sorry, after eating particular foods, yet you find yourself eating them again soon thereafter. Number five, you sometimes make excuses in your head about why you should eat something that you're craving. So you rationalize eating foods that you know are terrible for you like sugar and snacks and cookies and things that again you already know you're not supposed to eat number six you have repeatedly tried to quit eating or setting rules including cheat days or cheat meals about certain foods but have been unsuccessful number seven you often hide your consumption of unhealthy foods from others. Mm. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, number eight, you feel unable to control your consumption of unhealthy foods, despite knowing that they're causing you physical harm, including weight gain. <sighs> okay. These are eight common symptoms of food addiction. If you can relate to four to five of these items, then you probably have a serious problem with food. If you can relate to six or more, then you are most likely a food addict. Six or more food addict, four to five you've got some problems. Now I have to be honest, I, I read this and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I have some serious problems with food. And that's, you know, we just have to be honest with ourselves. And that is really the first step to, to recovery is being honest and acknowledging the truth. And so, taking the blame this allows you to really for me it was like a, a breath of fresh air to take the blame off take off the shame take off the you know the 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 feeling of accusation and just damnation about not eating healthy because you know how many times have you been told just stop eating just stop eating bad food or you know go on a diet and now we're seeing that there's a biochemical reason behind why it may be very difficult to stop eating these foods. This is addiction. So what to do about this? How to uh, get over addiction? Well, we'll be talk about that next week. <laughs> there are, of course, many ways, um, but there are many, I mean, there are many treatments as well. But the point is of this episode is simply to become aware, to raise your, your consciousness on this issue. And if you or anyone you know may be struggling with food addiction, I, I recommend please share this episode with them because this could be 
uh, really enlightening for them as it was for me as well. As well, if you'd like to read the entire article, this is from healthline.com and I will link this article in the show notes. And on that note, Black Healing Matters family, I love you. Hope you're having a wonderful week. As always, stay blessed. Black Healing Matters. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.